Hello folks, uh, this is Key. I'm doing Army Man World at War, uh, part 5. And uh, evidently our mission this time is to uh, steal a tan boat. Uh, well, that means it's a vehicle, which means... What happened to it? Why didn't they use it anymore? Err... Don't know. Don't know. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, shall we? See here, let's see here. Uh, well, I see an infantry guy walking around there, but I'm not going to shoot him out yet. I just wanted, to, wanted you guys to take a look at how he walks. It's kind of funny. Uh, let's see if I can get him zoomed in. That's the best I can do. But in that little funny walk that he does, he like strays a board. <laughs> Looks like he's half bored or something. And there's nothing else going on going on around him, but that's just something I just wanted to show off. Also, the uh, reason I knew he was there is, like I said, the moment you spawned in, you can hear his footsteps. They made footsteps extremely loud for some reason, so kind of takes the element of surprise out. Uh, just kind of waiting for the auto aim to work a little bit, and uh, well, it looks like he had somebody with him. Didn't bother to notice that the guy was dying. He's too busy looking down river, so we'll go ahead and take him out. And there's the boat, by the way. Well, that's kind of quick, kind of a big letdown there, but maybe we'll get some fun with the boat. Let's go ahead and take a look at the boat. Uh, this is the back side of the boat here. Uh, you can see there's a turret. Uh, actually, there is some detail to the river boat. And again, this leaves the question, why not use this for a possible f uh, MMO? I mean, there you go. Uh, there's something right from uh, Battlefield 2 that it would work in uh, this type of setting. And uh, there's nothing else around here, but just check just in case. Never know. And, uh, well, let's begin the boat ride. Once we get to the boat, anyway. Now, there's a front turret and a back turret, as you can tell. Most will mostly be sticking to the front turret. Just for one reason. Uh, they have sea mines. Well, once again, that leaves the question, why not? Because, uh, that's a good gameplay feature right there, is having land mine. I mean, ship mines... There you have land mines. I mean, a lot of uh, possible development there that could have been done. So why didn't they use it? Eh, who knows? Uh, infantry will shoot you out of the bushes. They're just for distraction. Uh, basically, think of this like the uh, Tomb Raider. Uh, one of those, uh, I think it's Vienna or something like that, where sh uh, she drives a boat. Uh, basically, it's the same premise of one of those mines that will insta-kill you or at least make it a bad day. And uh, they'll send helicopters and whatnot to try to take you out. So we'll just go ahead and go on from here. Like I said, just focus more on the mines than anything else, and you should be fine. The, move, the boat moves quite quick. Also, it has its own unique path. It'll try to adapt to where you've uh, shot your guns at, which is kind of a neat feature. And the helicopter is being deployed, and there's an enemy riverboat, and we just ran into a mine. So we died. Well. Let's try this again. Evidently, we're attacking and going to an airfield. Uh, so so that means that we're going to have another gameplay mechanic once we get that far. Kind of neat. Oh. Basically, uh, this time we're gonna we took out his mate. This time we're just going to bayonet the guy. He's not very observant. See, so he's still not. I just walked right past him, and he still didn't observe me. So I just stuck them. You have to stick and hold it for it to work. 
so I just hit him twice with a bayonet and killed him. Like I said, one of those underused weapons, why not? Now, like I said before, this start shooting out from out of the bushes and whatnot, too. But our primary focus here is these landmines. This time we're going to see if we can blow up that riverboat, too. Kind of looks like a fun opportunity to take out. See, as you notice, it took its own unique path. And that was rather close. And there's the enemy riverboat. Keep, keep, oh, there we got it. Now we're going to take out the helicopter. There we go. So we're good to go there. And then we'll just go back to busting the mines. Nothing too fancy, nothing too special. See, I don't know the hitbox of what defines what a kill is and what's not a kill. And there's another helicopter. And it goes poof. Oop, and then there's some mines too. Not pretty, not pretty. Yeah, keep keep taking them out, keep taking them out. Luckily, this is all automated. Uh, there, in Team Assault, uh, there's a riverboat as well that. Uh, you can actually you actually man and control, uh, but basically that, that's the end of the mission. So uh, this is me King signing out for let's play Iron Man World at War Part Five, and see you can switch between both guns. Uh, thank you.